All right, so it may have happened to you or someone you know. You open up your messages to find a nude picture of someone you definitely didn't expect nor are interested in seeing. Those unwanted pictures could soon become a crime in Texas, but as Patrick Perez explains, courts may have trouble prosecuting it. Unwanted nude or sexual pictures can be difficult to avoid because they can pop up in your text, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, you name it. Take this mom, Lynn Winter, an attorney and popular blogger in Fort Worth. She says she gets five to six unwanted pictures a week, usually from men. It's disgusting. It's a norm. And it is sad that we have to just accept that. It's a problem the dating app Bumble has tried to solve by blocking and banning anyone who sends a nude or sexually explicit photo on the app without the other user's consent. Think about walking down the street and somebody exposing themselves to you, how violating that feels and how inappropriate it is. And it's not something that we take lightly. That's why Bumble's chief brand officer, Alex Williamson, says the app took things farther by working with state lawmakers on a bill to make knowingly sending unwanted nude or explicit photos on any app or platform a crime similar to a traffic ticket. The bill passed and it's awaiting Governor Greg Abbott's signature. We believe that if it's inappropriate offline, it's unacceptable online as well. So the question is, how can you prove who sent you the nude or explicit photo and that it was sent to you on purpose? I asked criminal defense attorney Rick Flores, who says it may not be so simple. I can tell you right now that the number one defense from attorneys and from people charged with this is going to be that they didn't send it, is that somebody else got a hold of their phone. Flores says prosecuting this crime will involve time, money and digital forensics. Resources courts that deal with Class C misdemeanors likely don't have. I think if they raised it to either a Class B or maybe a Class A misdemeanor, then it's going to be prosecuted by the county attorney's office or, or a prosecutor prosecuting office that's going to have more resources and is going to be able to be able to actually prove who the sender was and not just the phone that it was transmitted from. Still, it's a start, Flora says, one that both he and Bumble believe will force change nationwide. In the studio, I'm Patrick Perez, KVU News.